start this video this week from my run in Orlando, Florida. Being cooped up in Canada, we have opportunity to run outside, but never in the sunshine like this. I found some trails. Beautiful day. Let's take advantage of it. And I wasn't doing the the dopey challenge or any of the runs that Shannon was doing. So I kind of feel like I missed out. Shannon was running dopey this weekend. So I went down to Orlando to join her. And basically <laughs> the support um the support crew for her i got down on friday so she had done the uh the 5k on thursday was doing the 10k on friday while i was in the air so i was there basically to give her a high five and say hello for um her half marathon on the saturday and the uh full marathon on the sunday so Things worked out pretty good on the Saturday. I woke up with her in the morning. We went to the start gate. Then she went into the kind of spot where uh, all the racers are corralled and, and um, kind of split off in their kind of speeds and, and ready to go. I then made my way into Magic Kingdom, which was ended up being at the exact five mile mark. And I just kind of propped myself out there and, and waited for her to show up. So. That was um, cool. Lots of people coming coming by. A lot of people waiting for their friends or the family members to come by. I got some video of her doing that. I'm gonna and so then she made it past, and then she kept on going, and then I meandered my way down to the finish line, which was at Epcot. So I ended up getting uh, footage of her finishing the half, which was cool. And then Saturday or Sunday rolls around. Me, as the support crew, I was going to meet her halfway, so around the 12 mile mark, which was about by uh, Magic Kingdom as well, just from the other side. Stupid me, though, I dropped the ball, and I took a bus, thinking that, you know, 15, 20 minutes, I'll get there. But the marathon route goes on the damn road. So... I'm stuck on the bus in the traffic jam, not moving anywhere. I should have taken, I should have found my way um, with the Skyliner and the monorail to get there. So I completely dropped the ball there and fucked up. So by the time I got to Magic Kingdom, she had already passed. I had to like find my way back to the start. But anyway, so I dropped the ball there at Support Crew. They have a good app. You can see here where it, the SH is Shannon. So she is at the, between the, just before the 20 mile mark here. And you can kind of like follow her throughout the path as she's going down there. And so she finished and the accomplishment was done. Dopey challenge is done. I don't think she'll do it. Now, thanks for joining me on this video where I do two second reviews of the rides we took on at Disney and at Universal. Smuggler's Run. Great story. Could be pukey. Toy Story Mania. Sore Arms. Super fun. Slinky Dog Dash. Fast and smooth. Swirling saucers. Cute, fun, and twisty. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad. What can go wrong with that? Pirates of the Caribbean. Fun story, but slow. Haunted Mansion. Dated, yet a fun experience. Tomorrowland Speedway. Oh wow, so bad. The cars suck. Jungle Cruise. A fun break. Seven Dwarfs. 
do this ride. Expedition Everest, love the backward speed. Dinosaur, super fun, older and unexpected. Cali River Rapids, we got soaked. Guardians of the Galaxy, the best experience. Test track, wish it was faster. Rides from Universal. Velocity Coaster. Holy fuck, no. Hagrid's motorcycle ride. Could do this all day, even with the drop. Harry Potter's Forbidden Journey. Pukey, need gravel. Fast and Furious Supercharged. Fun, different. Revenge of the Mummy. Super fun and cool, somewhat dated. Escape from Gringot, Gringot, Gringots. <laughs> Disorienting. Hogwarts Express. Who knew? It's super cool. Mention that these guys are the largest bird in the world. However, ostrich cannot. <laughs> you, okay, you, you don't understand what's happening. That ostrich is currently uh, taking a number two in front of that truck, but it's really fine. Obviously, he's marking his dominance there.